Bumble Up just released a Kickstarter campaign with their modular printable toy ecosystem called Cyberbrick. Let's talk about it. Hello and welcome! If you're new here, this channel is about 3D printing and learning how to design 3D models. I will be sharing here my projects, some cool prints from other creators, but also my opinions on the 3D printing world. Today I want to talk about Cyberbrick from Bumble Up that was just released on Kickstarter. What is it exactly? Well, it is advertised as a smart modular toy ecosystem that combines programmable hardware, 3D printable models and coding environments. We can read on the campaign page that the system utilizes wireless controllers and solderless modules that can have multiple different applications. Bumble Up has showcased this ecosystem already at Formnext in December 2024, where anyone could play with the Cyberbrick models at their booth. In the beginning of March 2025, they announced that Cyberbrick will be going to Kickstarter and now the campaign is officially released. What's really weird to me is that an established tech company like Bamboo Lab is releasing a Kickstarter campaign instead of just financing all of it from the beginning. Seems uh, weird, normally a Kickstarter campaign is for a company that doesn't have cash to, to make their project reality. Here that's not the case I think. Or maybe Bamboo Lab just needed the money for their new H2D printer that they also just announced. Who knows? I don't know. They could have easily just released the whole project to Maker Supply and I don't understand why they didn't. Maybe the reason was that the first development of this ecosystem already started in April last year. We can see from the timeline that the first test production happened already in July 2024 and later in October the same year the first models of the creators were kicked off. We can also see that some of the YouTube creators were already involved behind the scenes in testing the models. Talking about models, there's 10 plus featured in this campaign. You can see a crane, a race car, a train, a swimming duck, a walking table, a cyber track in a style that looks like Lego Technic and a few more. The main focus of the campaign however is put on three models that were designed by Bamboo Lab and those models are the forklift, the load truck and the soccer bot. All three look super cool, they are radio controlled, they seem to be really reactive and precise and the soccer bots are used in a game so you can play against your friends or family. What wasn't previously featured at Formnext or during the announcement of the campaign is a time-lapse kit for bamboo printers, which I'm personally the most interested in. The kit connects with a cable to your Bumble Lab printer and wirelessly connect to a camera that you are using and with the wireless trigger can be used for these battery smooth time lapses. You will need however a spare AMS cable to use it, the 4 pin cable for A1 or a 6 pin cable for the X and P versions of the Bumble Lab printers if you are using the AMS. There's different pledging options in this Kickstarter campaign that will give you different parts. Starting at 15 euros is the time lapse kit that I just mentioned that contains the universal core and time-lapse shield. The case for it you have to 3D print on your own. Then for 30 euros you get a kit that contains electronics and hardware pack for one vehicle plus one remote. Then for 50 euro you can have the same kit but doubled for two vehicles. And if you don't want to 3D print any parts or you don't own a 3D printer yet, for 100 euros you can have a pack with one forklift and one truck parts or another pack with two soccer bots and all the game props. So you don't have to 3D print anything, that pack contains all the parts that you need to build it. If you want to pledge to the campaign and get these parts, you have time till the middle of April. That's when the first parts are going to be shipped and they are supposed to be delivered to everyone in May. I have already pledged and I'm waiting for my parts. I can't wait to get my hands on these. The whole project looks super cool. I can't wait for this to be more accessible. I'll be sure to share my experience with Cyberbrick on this channel. So if you don't want to miss it, subscribe. That's it for this video, thanks for watching and see you next time!